In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use grid lines in Revit. So first things first, you can start off with the Architecture tab, and you can easily find the grid button over here that we'll be using to draw our grid lines in the datum subsection at the very right over here. Or you could find the same grid button in the Structure tab in the same location roughly. So Take a pick between the two and you should be able to do just fine. So I'll just quickly delete all of these grid lines here so that we can draw them out together. So click on the grid button over here and you'll be greeted with four different types of drawing tools. You just have the typical line tool to draw straight lines and two curve drawing tools. One is called the start and radius arc. So you draw the circle or the arc by starting at the start point of your arc and then ending it at your end point. Then you can specify the radius. The second um, arc drawing tool is the center ends arc. So you start at the center of your supposed circle and then you draw out the ends and the last tool that we have over here is the pick lines tool so you can just pick a existing line and use the offset to draw in a new line so first let's start with the line tool so I'll place one line like so and instead of trying to manually draw out lines like this and then space it out accordingly by 5 meters for example, I can just use the pick lines tool, set an offset of 5 meters for example, and just click on the existing grid lines. But one thing to note is that if you hover above the existing grid line and left click, you will get a new grid line at the top. If I were to use the pick lines tool and hover slightly below, I'll have another grid line at the same location as the previous one. So that's a thing to keep note. And I'll just quickly draw out the grid lines in the vertical direction. So I'll draw them out like so. Again, if I were to hover to the right of the existing grid line, it will draw it on the right hand side. If I hover to the left, the new grid line will be on the left. So just keep note of that. It's uh, quite intuitive in the sense that it makes sense to have it work that way. So I'll just quickly rename this as A. B, C, D, E, and I'll rename this as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is our grid line set up for our building, for example. And let me just move this up slightly. Like so. And you might notice that if you were to click on one grid line, you can actually adjust the length for all the grid lines in the horizontal section or in the vertical section. So just remember that. And now you might notice that there's another checkbox at the top over here. If I were to check on it right now, I would enable the grid bubble on the other side and I can turn it off on this side over here like so. So that's a key feature to keep note. So in some scenarios you might have a grid bubble where it's blocked out by something maybe a column or beam or whatever it is. So you can left click on this particular grid line for example 
and you'll see this add elbow button over here so this can help move the grid line bubble over here to the left or to the right so you can only move it horizontally and not vertically you can only adjust the length of this line over here this line section just by moving up and down and that's it and you can actually move this grid bubble up on its own just by toggling from 3d to 2d and you can extend an individual grid line bubble like so so that's a useful tip to know so now uh, I will show you the curve drawing tools for grid line so let's start with the start end radius arc so basically you start the arc at a certain point like say this point here B5 and let's say I want to end it at C5 so that's the end now I just need to adjust the radius as you can see the radius is getting bigger right now it's above 5 meters I can make it 2.5 meters like so and then I can actually uh, extend this line to form a full circle for example and the next tool would be the center ends arc so I can select the C3 grid intersection here and then I can just expand this circle out in terms of the radius so that's another way of drawing out an arc in Revit and now I will show you my last tip for grid lines you don't have to copy these grid lines to other levels what you can do is that uh, just open up east and north elevations so as you can see you can see the grids 1 to 5 in the east elevation and in the north elevation you can see grids A to E so here's what I can do if I open up level 1 I can see all my grid lines and let's say if I go to the east elevation and select all my grid lines here 1 to 5 if I were to drag it down so that it's lower than the level 1 uh, line over here I will not be able to see grids 1 to 5 in level 1 anymore and if I were to do the same for grids A to E if I were to lower it below level 4 sorry if I were to lower all the grids A to E below level 1 I won't be able to see any of the grids A to E or 1 to 5 so that's a useful tip to know so I can just quickly add a new level by using the offset tool let's say it's 5 meters above and let's say that I don't want grids 1 to 5 to be visible at level 2 so I can just drag it slightly lower than level 2 and if I were to open up level 2 uh, hold on so I forgot to raise this above level 2 so there we go let's say if I don't want grids 1 to 5 visible in level 2 so I can just make sure that grids A to E are above level 2 and grids 1 to 5 are not above level 2 so that they are below it and that's it for my short tutorial on grid lines in Autodesk Revit if you found this tutorial useful do consider subscribing to my channel keep learning and Goodbye.